Hello gang, I am sick, but we're going to review decks because it's a good thing to do while I'm sick, not doing a lot at home. Um, this deck today comes from Pop Winner 1234 they are an absolute chad in my comments, a lot of what they say is based and cool. Uh, and if you look at this mat, it's a sexy Dragoon mat, so you already know they're going to have good taste. Let's get into the profile, shall we? It's build, and I'm going to show you what I run in it. We are going to be playing one copy of Dark Magic, not playing two Dark Magicians. So there's no need for more than two. Two is all. Hey, I see the Loza artwork one. I love to see it. Three is Bricky. Two is just fine. And uh, we are going to add one Dark Magician girl. Yep. Soul Servant girl. Cool. And she can be good for discarding. One Renaissance Black Dragon for Renaissance Dark Dragoon. One to my United Dragon. Oh, so we're playing Ref here. All right, let's go. Um, I don't think it's necessary to, more, to run more than just one because he Absolutely. can easily be countered. They can affect Veil of Hand, which they'll probably go with Rod, or they can, um, you know, uh, instead of affect Veil of Hand, they could uh, go with Stoker Hand, and then you can't go for a Dragonite to protect your back row. Uh, the three normal summons, the best normal summon in the deck, the only normal summon in the deck, Rod, grab spell. I really like Rod because of how searchable it is now with Illusion to Chaos, but I, I still like other normal summons, like, sometimes but once again they're not consistent because rod can be searched off prep and illusion of chaos and all that fun stuff so what i'm trying to say is rod should be our like only normal summon going forward like maybe keeper of dragon magic if you're feeling spicy but even then i don't think you should bother i know it searches fusion deployment i know keeper can search uh fusion destiny so like there's some cool things we could do with like dpe dark magician but I think, yeah, I think it's just Rod from here on out. That has Dark Magician in this text. And then three souls, Magician souls. Mwah. Good for sending Dark Magician, Dark Magician girl into the grave so you don't have to draw them. Then two Illusion of Chaos. Um, are we Ooh, only two? Uh, three Starlight. is too tricky because we're already running oh, the price. My man's got money, let's go. Uh, three Secret List of Spellcasters. I think this is really good because it Whoa. locks your opponent out on using yeah. spells. It, can, it really is good for the Branded because Branded needs spells. Um, my only suggestion here is, like, one terraforming, two village, just so it's, like, slightly less bricky. I mean, it's still kind of... I love village, but man, there's no worse feeling than opening, like, two or three of them. You're just like, bruh. Basically, you lock your opponent out with spe uh, out of your spell, which most decks rely on, uh, that I'm aware of. Yeah, so I, I would even suggest, like, one metaverse, one terraforming, and, like, one to two village with that ratio. You're pretty safe to do that. You can also play, like, other field spells like Mystic Mind, but I know a lot of people hate that. Mystic Mind is super good in DM right now, so I would just do it, but I know some people don't like Degeneracy, so fair enough. As well. It also protects Dragoon from Forbidden Droplet. It does. <coughs> um, super Poly. TTT. And Dark Run Lamar. And Triple Tactics Talents. No one's taking your Dragoon under Village. It's so good. Because you lose so many games. People, ah, take Dragoon, ah, pop, pop, swing for game. It's like, bruh. And it's a 4k Dragoon, too. Which is Salvation, because it basically... Normally, because you've already used your Negate, you know. This is just the Eternal Souls. Making it two Eternal Souls in this deck, basically. Yep. Nice. Magical Last Fusion, one Magical Last Fusion for the extra Ooh. Dragoon. Ever since Anaconda went, I'm not the biggest fan of Magicalized. Though, if you open Magicalized with Magician Souls, if you play I'm Duck, that's just a Dragoon by itself. So, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. Um, but the problem with Magicalized is how many times it can be dead, and that's why when we had that Anaconda, it was nice. You could access it whenever you needed it kind of thing, just by putting two monsters out. It's still a good card. Like, it's... It's one of the better cards we have. I, in fact, I wish it was like DM Magicalized Fusion, you know, or something like that. Uh, but unfortunately it's not. So yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't hate on someone for playing this, but it is just like that Saki one-off where you need to just hard draw it now. Before it was like a Saki one-off, but you could also search it without a Conda. So yeah, uh, the things you can summon off this are like obviously Dragoon, you can make like Quintet if you're feeling ballsy, and that's pretty much the most relevant things. I don't think you'd make anything else. You can't make Dragonite because you need to make a Spellcaster. So anyone suggesting make Dragonite, just you can't. Please read the card. Uh, let's check out what he says about it though because i think we uh for because you know you can make dragoon engraved just in case something happens to your first copy one secrets of dark That's magic true. three red fusion to get the best card out on the deck out of your extra deck, Ayo. Your extra deck like. so we got a ref build here now normally if i'm playing a ref build i stray away from secrets and tamias maybe in this case just stray away from tamias because you're just going to have more cards to brick on, in my opinion. But yeah, I, I don't mind ref though. But I think if you play ref, you have to make your deck more ref orientated. So that means more spell and trap focus. Uh, maybe even Nadir's Servant, because 
then with your ref, if you get negated on ref, you can at least go into Dear Servant and get to um, Shadol Schism. Uh, so you can have Winder off turn. But then also if your ref resolves, you can still do the same thing. You can do Dear Servant, set up Schism. Um, and then you have Winder Dragoon. Like, a lot of people can't deal with that unless they open Super Poly. If you have Village along with that, you just win. It's great. Anyway, let's hear what he has to say. So good. Like, I don't think there's a better card in Retro Deck than Rise of Dark Dragoon. There might be. It's true. I highly doubt it. Two proper rights. Like, ref is still very good. I'm not trying to shit on ref. Uh, obviously, I'm a big ref enthusiast. But it does feel a lot worse now without Anaconda, of course. That's just naturally how it is. Um, you can do three. Uh, I like to use two, so it's just running four. I mean, even then, you can use Soul Sermon to search for it. Yep. Yeah, two two prep is fine as well. Like, I always say play two and three. You can also play two and two. It's it's just about deck space. But if you just don't have anything to fill the deck with, it's great because you just play an extra prep. It's fine. I like to use three Super Polys. Really because let's say you draw... Giga Chad. So Super Polys just wins your games, like, straight up. A, let's say you have, like, Dark Magician on your hand. Opponent's got a board. You can already use that to get rid of their board to an extent. Yeah, I, I don't like using Super Poly with my own DM. I know people always talk about that, but then you're using like three cards to out one of your opponent's cards, right? Because you go Super Poly, discard, DM on your field, and then you out one of their things. And it feels, it just, like, it's negative value on a card that's meant to give you equal value. You're meant to discard, play Super Poly, suddenly you go two for two trade, right? And that's such a good trade. Two cards from hand for two cards on field. Amazing. But yeah, obviously there will be scenarios where it's probably better to super poly with your DM and their stuff, but you want to try to not do that. But yeah, you know, sometimes getting a Dragoon or Dragonite that way might be the way. But um, yeah, always be, be aware with super poly. You do want to be using it to out two of their things, not your DM and them. But it's an option. It's good to talk about it because it's an option. And we're going to use the best Dark Magician theme card. The best Dark Magician. Oh, you've got the secrets! That's so hot. I need to get them. They look so pretty. Card, like, support, I would say. Because oh, it's so good. allows you to draw for Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. So it's already, if you have the correct setup, this can be a pot of greed. So not only do you stack, but then you can draw two. You're basically giving yourself card advantage. It's really good. One Dark Magical Circle, I feel like you only need to run one because it's really recyclable with Soul Servant. And uh, I think it's banished. Oh, well, um, one is fine. I had I actually earlier today at the tournament. I actually had my Eternal Souls and Circles both banished, but I was still able to play around it because um, I was still able to use Magician Souls and um, Magician Souls able to get Dragon Knight back out in the field because he's considered Dark Magician. And um, I was also able to fuse his monster and my Rod for stopping Venom. And then I was also able <coughs> to go in, uh, and I was able to attack for game. Very nice. So there are different ways that you can deal with it if you do use your Eternal Souls or Circle. One upstart because upstart's really good in this deck. Upstart oh, basically yeah. allows you to draw one gain a thousand. Punk. Can upstart come off the ban list, please? It's so good in our deck. Or oh, chicken game, that too. It's even better. And it's usually one ash because they want an extra thousand. Um, one terraforming. I think we only need uh, you know, one terraforming for like secret village spellcasters, and or one mystic mind. Only... Fantastic terraforming and mystic mind in here. You'll love to see. I hope there's a metaverse and maybe set rotation. I, I think set rotation is really good too. Because we have enough field spells to facilitate it. Um, and you just give your opponent salvation or village, right? And you get mine, or vice versa if you want village, blah blah blah. It's pretty good. And you really want Mystic Mind because. Um, this also, if you open salvation, like if you open the field spell you want to give to your opponent, just go for Illusion of Chaos, put it back on top of your deck. You're welcome. Deck, well, um, it's not really going to be playing Mystic Mind, I'll show you in a bit why. But we really just use Mystic Mind, or you can play it if you want, but we really just use Mystic Mind. For the set rotation to give it to our opponent, and then we yes, you're a king. Let's go. This is very good. This is all what I wanted. This is amazing. Give ourselves secret village spellcasters. Now for the trap cards, I use one eternal souls again. The same reasoning. It's really recyclable, and with soul servant. And I feel like you know, uh, it was better to cut the other, the other one, and the other circle for more space in the deck. Yep. I like to use three solemn strikes because it's just really good. Three solemn strikes negate your opponent's effects, negate like their monster effects, negate strikes, your summon, cool. and you can even negate yeah, Ash Blossom. So you can get your red eyes. Let's say you want to build a board. Get Ron, get Souls, boom, boom, boom. Get Illusion Council, search for Tamias. Get Dark, Dragon, Dark Magician, Dragon Knight. Get Souls Protects, because I'm assuming you search for Salvation. And then you can even uh, go for it. Pass turn, draw. Uh, doesn't matter what you draw, play Red Eyes Fusion. Have this set, boom, Song Strike, Ash Blossom. This, uh, the Ash Blossom will be negated, and you get your red eyes Dark Dragon. Two Skill Drains. Um, I, would, I, would, I would run three, but I feel skill like two is good, good already for this deck. And one Metaverse. I feel like it's really good. And because you can just, you know, activate this on their turn while you have Dragoon or Dragon Knight and Dark Magician with Eternal Souls. I actually had an opponent try to uh, activate Super Poly on my Dark Magician, the Dragon on Knight in my Dark Magician. 
about that. But Charles also was protecting them, so he couldn't do it. And then uh, he had a, we had a Reaper game state, and one Metaverse. I feel like two Skill Drains. Um, skill Drain is good. I would, I would run three, but I feel like two is good already for this deck. And one Metaverse. Yeah, you're a bit tight on space. Like it's really good. And because you can just, you know, activate this on their turn while you have Dragoon or Dragon Knight in Dark Magician with Eternal Souls. I actually had an opponent try to uh, activate Super Poly on my Dark Magician, the Dragon uh, Knight in my Dark Magician. But Eternal Souls was protecting them, so he couldn't do it. And then uh, he Very had to cool. Reaper game state. And then I used this to get Secret Village Spellcasters. He couldn't use spell cards anymore, and then he had to scoop and then we went into Game 3. Very nice. Now, What's really cool about this deck so far is it's got a lot of powerful cards. Like, we've got the Mystic Mine and obviously the Terra of Warmings to get to that, and the Metaverse set rotation. We've also got the Village, just turn off spells. Then we've got the standard, like, super strong spell Ref, which just says, hey, if you don't negate this, like, I kind of win, especially going second, you can pop two and swing. Like, that is a game a lot of the time. <laughs> If they don't have the Ash or a Negate. So Ref either burns a Negate going second or you get Ashed and you kind of lose. But it's worth the risk, I would say. Uh, the, the other power spell he's playing is Super Poly. So going second, he's actually got so much pressure. He's got how many copies? He's got three copies of Mystic Mind through Set Rotation Mind Terror. He's got three copies of Super Poly, three copies of Ref. He's got nine cards going second that are like amazingly good. So, actually, really, like, this deck has the kind of flexibility to go first or second. Um, I think you'd still want to go first with this deck, but I think it would be okay if you lost the die roll, right? You'd be like, yeah, no worries, man. Obviously, going first, you've got the skill drain, you've got the village lock. But, you know what? It's kind of fine if you don't see those as, as well and you just go for Dragoon, set a couple pass. I don't know. I, I like this build. This build seems good. With the extra card? There's a lot going on in this build, and that's the only issue I would say. Like, you might get different bits and pieces of each engine. I mean, it's normally what you want. But, you know what I mean? Like, the ref might line up with the Tamias and the Secrets, and you're like, well, these these don't work together at all, right? If you go for ref, you can't do the others. Sometimes that happens, and it's grim. You just have to make a decision, right, and go for it. But, yeah, I, I like the concept of the deck. It's playing powerful cards and saying, hey, if the opponent doesn't negate these, I win. Obviously, Super Poly can't be negated. But you're saying, if you don't negate these, I win. And it's fantastic. You go Mystic Mind, Beta Negate going second, and then just slap down Ref. If they don't have the Ash, you probably win. We'll go with one Artemis and Majestic Moonmaiden. Yeah, baby! We'll, for recycling run. we'll go with one Relinquished Anima. It really, uh, can help you with going second. It's a good one card. Queen Master of Magicians. One Drake. What's really good about uh, Anima is if you are, oh, it's only when you play Mana. When you play Mana, it's like you can use Souls Effects, send a draw. If they don't hand trap that, they might hand trap Anima. But yeah, it's just really good. It gives Magician Souls a new purpose going second as well. Dark, charming, and gloomy. You want access, go talker. And um, Drake can help you go into Selene, which then can help you go oh, into yeah. access. One oh, yeah. Illusion Magician. You love to see it. One number 11 big guy. I would substitute him with Zeus, but I don't have Zeus. Yeah, I was just going to say, I probably wouldn't play big guy, but there you go. Zeus, Zeus is a perfect replacement there. You could also play... In this build, I don't think you're ever getting to a rank 7, though. Like, you, you've got too many powerful cards to get to a rank 7, in my opinion. Like, with the Super Poly refs and mine. Like, I think with mine, you really want to play Zeus, too. Because you want a way to out, like, all of your opponent's set cards after, like, you've been stalling on mine for, like, 10 turns, you know? But, if you don't have the Zeus, you don't have the Zeus, man. It's all good. One Mud, my Dragon Eagle Swamp. Super Poly Target. I would recommend switching them out for Garud, but I didn't have Garud. Yeah, Garud is very good, but you want Garud and Mud Dragon, in my opinion. You want both. Uh, one dark, the Dark Magicians. Um, you'll yep. probably barely get this card out. Uh, like it's probably because it's not called DM. If it wasn't, you'd probably see more. Well, I mean, we really need a contact fusion way to make the Dark Magicians right. It's literally Dark Magician and the girl, like with new armors and shit. Like, why don't we just say like tribute one DM and DMG like summon this? Like, it would have been so good, but nope. One Star Magician Dragon. Uh, one for the Plan Conjure. Cool. Two red eyes of Dark Magician. Yeah. Master of Chaos. And then one Dark Magician's Dragonite Dark. Alright, so I've tested Master of Chaos so many times, and even though there's a cute, like, OTK with him, it's like a pseudo OTK, I don't think the card's worth it. I'll probably make it uh, one of my combo videos at some point, but yeah, I would just say don't play it. It's just not really worth it yet. I'm just enjoying Dragonite's pretty standard. He's gonna help protect. Like, maybe later down the line he'll become more relevant, but I don't think he's that good. Back row and eternal souls, which eternal souls will help protect him. And for the side deck, I, I, I'd run cards like Solemn Judgment, 
They come with you one Nibiru. You can, uh, you know, give them the token. You relinquish, add them on, get that attack. Dark Ruler no more. All right, from here on out, he goes over the side deck, which actually looks pretty good. It's, like, got Dark Ruler no more and, like, actual good shit. So go check that out if you're interested. We've also got uh, some test hands by the looks of things. And, you know what? We love to see that shit. Um, I'm going to go watch these privately now. But you guys should feel free to head over to the channel and have a watch of them. Look at how many power cards there are on this deck. That's that's how you got to play DM. You either got to play floodgates or power cards, and I appreciate that. Floodgate traps or power spells. Very nice. That is a way to play the DM. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this profile, and um, I hope you subscribe, like, and comment, and let me know down below what profile I should roast next, or in this case, compliment. <laughs> Catch you guys next time. See ya.